and fireman carry this guy over and hit him with the five knuckle shuffle. Oh! <laughs> you can't see me! Hey, what's going on my fellow superstars? Welcome back to another video here on WWE Undefeated. My name is Jonathan Snow and today we're taking a look at the brand new WWE Superstar that is officially coming out December 18th, 2020. It is the one, the only, the invisible man. You can't see me. John Cena. He's officially being released and we're going to go ahead today. We're going to go ahead and take a look at exactly what he does. What is his height move looks like? What does his signatures move looks like? What type of combos that he can do and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do a breakdown on John Cena to see exactly what he is all about. So right now he is a legendary uh, brawler class character. Uh, his leader skill is or leader skill or passive skill, whatever you want to call it. Um, never give up when he has 40% stamina or less. His special move costs two less energy. So if you guys don't know what stamina means in this game, it's basically your green health bar up on top, as you can see. And when you're playing the game, as it progressively goes down, once it hits the 40% mark, your special moves or your signature moves will cost two less. We actually have seen this in the past with Kofi Kingston. If you take a look at Kofi Kingston, he does pretty much the same thing. His uh, boom, 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 whenever he has four energy or less, his special moves cost three or less. So John Cena is a little bit around the same uh, perspective with that being said uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his signature moves so the first one is called a running one hand bulldog it is a legendary class uh, move type and it's a grapple uh, grapple that switches sides with the opponents it is a short range medium speed so that's interesting and then we have his other signature move is called the five knuckle shuffle it's an epic uh, move class it's a strike does extra damage against opponents lying on the ground. So it's a short range, slow speed. So that's very iffy. That might be very unique. Maybe most of the time, this is probably this is probably in the same realm where you kind of want to do like the people's elbow with the rock. You want to keep them on the front on the floor. But let's see if you actually can do to hit your opponent if they're standing up, unlike the people's elbow. And then his uh, height move or finisher is called the attitude adjustment or AA for short. It is a strong grapple attack that switches sides with the opponent's short range, medium speed. So we're again, we're going to take a look at how short that range really is. And that is pretty much it for what John Cena can bring to the table. We're going to go ahead and take him in practice mode and see how good John Cena is in this game. So let's go ahead and switch that out. We're going to go to practice. We're going to take a look into what is John Cena's movesets look like. What are the range look like? And hey, Undertaker. Okay. I see you, Undertaker. The dead man. Eventually, we'll have a video on him in a future day. But all right. So here we go. Uh, first things first. Let's go ahead and find his signature moves. So that way we actually can see what they look like. I, li I like this move. This little fireman carry that uh, just came out just the other day. So, okay. I do see the attitude adjustment right there. It says your opponent has to be on the ground to do extra damage. So let's go ahead and uh, try to find a move where we can actually put our opponent to the ground. So we have one. So let's go ahead and build up this meter. So let's go ahead and fireman carry this guy over and hit him with the five knuckle shuffle. Oh! <laughs> you can't see me! <laughs> Alright, that was a bit scary. That was definitely a bit scary. <laughs> Yo, he was up close and personal. Up close and personal in front of the screen. I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see how this attitude adjustment looks like. Let's let the computer come a little bit closer to us so we can see this in nice full view. All right, so let's shut him off. All right, so let's see here. Attitude adjustment time. So he does a salute. You can't see me. Ooh, I like it. And the red, white, and blue with the nice firework design. Okay, I do like that. Definitely into that. Uh, let's go ahead and look for his other move, which is the Bulldog. So there it is. Okay. So let's see what this move looks like here. All right. So he uh, throws your opponents to the rope. Nice Bulldog. And then I'm pretty sure right here you can do 
the attitude um the five knuckle shuffle okay so that's interesting too so you can do it standing up so you can do the five knuckle shuffle standing up i want to see what the race so we did up close here so let's take a step back because it says it's a short range move i believe uh so let's see how short range this is oh okay so it definitely is a bit short so you have to be really up close to your opponent in order for that move to connect again i want to see the five knuckle shuffle this is up close I want to see one step back. Does it reach? It does not reach. Okay. So that's another thing you have to take into consideration. Um, I do like, as we can see right here, the Bulldog actually resets you into the middle of the ring, which I really do like when moves do that because then you can, you know, have a little bit more spacing and you can, you know, uh, try to dodge your opponent's attacks with that being said. So I do like that move where it does reset you in the middle. Let's take a look at his uh, finisher again. Uh, again, this is up close. So we're going to take one step back and see what the height move distance is. So he does walk a little bit up close. Man, if he would if he would took an another step, I think he would actually connect with that. So that's kind of a little bit of disappointing in a way. Like I think they probably should make him step like a little bit, like maybe one or two more steps. So that way, if you're one space away from your opponent, it can actually connect. So I kind of don't like that a little bit. Can this connect here? Ooh, wow. So I probably missed time. I probably have to be a little bit faster there. Um, what I do want to see next is a little bit for some combo potential. I'm pretty sure Bulldog into uh, the 5 Knuckle Shuffle is a thing. I believe that works. Um, I do see the, uh, the 5 Knuckle Shuffle. It does have a little bit of a bounce effect. So I kind of want to see what moves actually kind of work with it. As far as combo potential. So here we're just look, right now we're digging for it. Again, the game never wants to give us the moves. Okay, so there it is. So I do want to see. Okay, I do want to see if you could do attitude adjustment into the five knuckle shuffle, which I'm pretty sure you can. So let's go ahead and see this. I do love this. You can't see me. There we go. And then you can probably go right here. Yeah, attitude um, five knuckle shuffle. So your opponent does not get off the ground when it does when they do that. So so it's just pretty much a solid ground attack. Okay. So let's continue seeing here again. Uh, what is the probably the next thing we want to do for combo potential? Oh yeah, we want to see if the five knuckle shuffle actually has a bounce mechanic where we could probably be able to do another move as they're bouncing. So say if we don't hit them on the grounds. I want to see how viable it is for actually, uh, you know, if you if your opponent, you know, if you just don't have them on the ground, if it actually still hits. Uh, again, we're just going to dig for it. Okay, there it is. Okay. So here, uh, what we want to do is I want to see if the five knuckle shuffle can connect with probably the three punch. So let's see. Okay, so your opponent does have a bounce effect. And it seems like you got to be really, really quick. You got to be really, really quick with that. I'm pretty sure there's some moves out there that can, you could probably experiment with, where to see like how uh, how efficient uh, keeping your opponent, yeah, because like it, it seems like it's very fast, and you gotta be you gotta have a very quick strike for it to connect correctly. So again, let's try this brand new fireman carry. Uh, see if that's a little bit quick enough as a strike. No, so it's definitely so. So I feel like definitely probably the three punches that we just did earlier is probably only punches that's quick enough to actually connect and continue um, hitting your opponent. I do want to test out again. I do want to test out a little bit of a combo here with I wanted to go five knuckle shuffle into super and see if that actually connects. So again, we're digging for. Uh, we're going to try to dig for the 5 knuckle shuffle again. I wish I had unlimited EP so that I won't have to wait for the reset every time. So, okay, so, okay, here it is. So, I want to see if this is, if, if we have enough bounce effect. Say if your opponent is standing up, see if we can actually connect with the super here. We're going to super immediately. Oh, it's a little bit slow. Just a little, a hair slow. It's a hair slow for that. Oh, man. Feels bad. Okay. I kind of want to see if the five knuckle shuffle does connect while your opponent is standing up with the bulldog. I'm going to see if that's a little bit fast enough. So, again, we're going to see here. Bounce. 
just a bit slow. If your opponent was able to bounce a little bit higher, uh, we would have probably connect there. Hmm. Interesting. I want to see if this works. I want to try one more thing. I want to get our uh, AA up one more time, and I have the combo here. I want to see if I can go 5 Knuckle Shuffle into 3 Cost Punch into Super. I want to see one more time to see if that actually is a combo uh, that we can probably do. Again, this is only if your opponent is, you know, standing up with the with the five knuckle shuffle. You normally pretty much don't ever want to do this because, you know, you want to do that extra bit of damage uh, to your opponent. It's unfortunate that we won't be able to see the 40% reduction uh, when our with our when our stamina is 40% less. And here we won't be able to showcase the moves being uh, two costs or less. So it's kind of a bit of disappointing in that regard, but it's okay. Um, let's see here again. The last combo we're going to probably do is the five knuckle shuffle into the three cost punch into super. See if that connects all together. So here we go. Into the punches. Then into super. It does connect. Okay. That's a pretty neat three hit combo there. Into the you can't see me. And then you could probably do like maybe a curve stomp. On um, the three hit call stomp there. And that probably worked uh, pretty lovely to a four hit combo. So I do like that. So with that being said. Again this is just a small showcasing of John Cena. Uh, what he can do. What he could bring to the table. My overall thoughts. Again, the suit, the AA, um, it seems it's okay. Again, you have to be really close to your opponent, so you definitely got to set that up uh, correctly. I do like the five knuckle shuffle because, again, you can do a lot of damage and you can still hit your opponent if your opponent uh, missed times the block. So it causes a nice bounce effect. So you could probably get a move or two in if you connect it correctly. And then the bulldog, again, really, I really do like this move because it does reset uh, both opponent, uh, both you and your opponent to the middle of the map. Or middle of the ring so that way you can actually go ahead and do some more combos or like you know you know do a little bit of footsies you know type of deal with your opponents when that resets so i do like that uh the running bulldog so overall that is john cena a little bit of gameplay a little bit of feedback on my regard again uh he is officially released december 18th of 2020 on a friday so stay tuned for another video on John Cena. So we're going to try to do some more experimenting and see how good he is in the ladder. And then we should probably have a live stream as well with the brand new superstar. The one, the only, you can't see me, the invisible man, John Cena. So I'll see you guys for Friday's video again or live stream on some more WWE Undefeated. Again, my name is Dr. Snow. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And I'll see you guys on next video. Peace out.